going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds we're back here today this time at insurance auto auctions here in oklahoma city off of the i-35 service road before we get into this video because we want something really cool today i got to tell you about something else really cool that i got the other day from ridge wallet today's video sponsor right here this is 18 karat gold plated guys yeah it's my money it's got my cards and everything in it right there holds up to 12 cards you don't have to get gold they've got carbon fiber they've got like pressed carbon they've got over 30 different varieties of the same wallet. you can get it with a clip you can get it with a band for your money simple minimalistic and you know what the best part is best part is it goes in your front pocket not your back pocket where it's going to hurt your rear when you're driving long distances you just drop it in your front pocket you forget about it guys listen they give you 45 days to try it if you don't like it send it back for a full refund you can't miss it father's day is coming let me tell you something get your dad the gift that's going to last him a long time long time because it's lifetime warranty meaning if it ever breaks and i've been using them for two years never had one break yet if it ever breaks they'll fix it or replace it absolutely free rfid blocking for those those pickpocketers that use electronics to hijack your cards information you ain't got to worry about that anymore get yourself a ridge wallet at www.ridge.com aar use code aar for 10 percent off your purchase get one today guys father's day's right around the corner now let's jump in to what we purchased from insurance auto auctions so before everybody starts laughing at this car let me tell you something man she is a little trooper it's not a cream puff but this car may actually only have 45,000 miles on the clock guys it was listed as a run and drive it's a dealer only car meaning the general public can't bid on it and i won the bid for 375 dollars this car cost me out the door 550 bucks 550 out the door listed as a run and drive the body is in pretty good condition it does have a couple whiskey dents here and there 2.0 liter throttle body fuel injected the tires are older but they're decent they're white walls they got the beauty rings on them and i'll, I'll show you we got a we got a dent going on right here little dent there and kind of a little ding here nothing too bad hey what's up with uh, tk's garage over here i totally forgot to put him in the channel <laughs> he's driving this one home <laughs> we haven't started this one up yet so we have not verified uh that it actually runs and drives or anything um i figured we'd show it to you guys in real time as it happens all right she's got a couple little dings one here another one right there i mean honestly though nothing oh the jump pack yeah yeah i've got yeah I gotta redo that. Yeah. You should keep that clip in too, so it's good. people are like, when you see me in public, leave me the fuck alone if I'm filming. Yeah, I, you know what? I'll keep going. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, it happens. Anyway, a couple little dents right there, and uh, I think this is the worst of it right here. You know, it looks like somebody kind of, you know, tapped something on the corner. Not too bad. This is just plastic. I'm assuming this stuff would be. Uh, not too difficult to repair let's take a look under the hood real quick this is an 86 cavalier and oh she's got a duracell battery now somebody somebody uh put a little money into the battery some of the first things i notice when i'm looking at a car like this you see it's full of washer fluid actual washer fluid. yeah somebody actually put washer fluid in it so another thing i'm noticing is the bright nuts on the struts over here so it looks like somebody has also put struts in it as well. Moving along, it's got a leaking valve cover. A very leaky valve cover. You can see it all over there. It's running all down the side here. Definitely just a valve cover leak. No big deal. The EGR valve looks like it was replaced not too long ago as well. Let's look over at the map sensor here. The map sensor looks like it's a little bit newer too. And let's see if we got coolant in here. Let's see if I can get you guys in there. I don't know. It's kind of hard to get down in there but yeah she's got coolant she's got coolant down in there all right good deal good deal man uh i guess we need to check the oil oh wow clean wow okay hey so far we're winning man we're winning let's take a look at the trans fluid I mean, it's a little brown. But that's better than bright red. Well, yeah, it's not a, it's not black, 
it's not bright red so you know it's honest transmission fluid is what it is let's look down here we got belts oh we have air conditioning i know you can't see it you're not going to be able to way way down there is an air compressor and it still has a belt on it so this car came with factory air conditioning wow okay guys so far so good this is impressive let's take a look at the interior real quick we also want to get into the trunk too the headliner is falling as you can see it looks to be an original headliner matches the color of the car so that would uh that need to get taken care of but take a look let me move all this crap out of the way Ooh, it's it's so hot and humid out here today look at this beautiful interior aside from the headliner look at the door like wow um even the carpet in the back the back shelf is in good shape. The door seals are not rotted out. They're in good shape. Let's see these windows. Crank windows, they work. <laughs> what a time capsule, man. Uh, what am I gonna do with this car? Uh, first, we're gonna find out if it runs or drives. And if it does, uh, at that point, I don't know. Part of me wants to send it for paint and a headliner, you know, make it look real pretty, make it look good again. And then the other part of me is like, man, why? You know, just put gas in it. It's an honest daily driver, you know? The car doesn't appear to be hiding anything. It is an honest car. You got one, looks like a cigarette burn there. Looks like there's a couple teeny tiny ones right there. Aside from that, no big deal. Oh, look at this steering wheel. The steering is tight. The steering is really tight. The doors are locked. The door locks work, can unlock those. Glove box, hey, the window crank for this door was in the glove box. It's got a clip on it too. They took that off for a reason. We'll figure out what that is later. There's your old school heat and air conditioning, your automatic three-speed transmission, uh, first, second, and third. Wow, look at this dash. I mean, this thing is in exceptional condition, guys. Exceptional condition. I would like to, uh, I'd like to get into the trunk. So let me take this key off and let's go check the trunk real quick. All right, let's take a first peek into the trunk here. Okay, well, it's, it's nothing special. We have a trash bag, an empty trash bag. We've got a spare tire that's actually full of air. I'm not sure that tire has ever been on the ground. Maybe. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'll let you guys judge for yourself if this tire has ever been on the road. It still has the yellow markings from manufacturing on it. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure that tire has never seen the ground. What do you find? A whole another, another set, set, of, set keys. of keys. In the trunk, dude. <laughs> That's a win. <laughs> wow. So we got like three sets of keys to this car now. What's under here? Oh, wow. It's not rusted or anything. Look at all the undercoating still here. Wow. Like even the plastic's <laughs> not yellowed or nothing, dude. The jack is still bolted in place. Yep. The jack, uh, the, the lug wrench is still here. And again, with the, the weather stripping, normally on old cars like this, you'll see them rotted away. But it's in remarkable condition. It really is. I guess there's only one thing to do. Drive it. Well, I'm going to start it first. <laughs> hey, I... <laughs> I've run into occasions where something says it's a run and drive, but rattle, rattle, smoke. Yeah, in reality, uh, you may be able to start it and drive it, but you may not drive it far. Let's force this thing on here, give her the juice. All right. Well, moment of truth here, guys. Almost looks like a car or something burnt down right there, doesn't it? It does. Like it looks like something lit on fire right here. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's put the key in it. First start. Promise you guys, I didn't do this without you. I keep this legit. Wow. <laughs> are you serious? Bro, it purrs. It's, the motor mounts and everything are good, bro. Is it blowing smoke out the back no. or anything? No, it's No good. smoke. Good. No smoke. I'll give you the smoke. <laughs> I'll put this up against anything on the road right now. Oh. That thing's wow. Hard, man. Look at this old radio. This old GM radio. 
got the big knobs? Yeah. We call those the senior citizen radios. Hey. Hell yeah. Ha! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yo, it's uh, good too though. <laughs> No way. Yeah, that's before they put those weak ass horns in the in the cars. They started putting those Japanese horns in cars. It's got a full tank of gas too. What? Yeah. All like five dollars worth in one of these, man. I can't believe this thing runs this good. I'm probably the only dude on YouTube that, that gets excited it? over a 1986 yeah, you, Chevy Cavalier. You should get excited though. You don't see this, man. Yeah, yeah. I come across some of the craziest deals on these old forgotten cars that nobody wants anymore. Nobody wants these cars anymore, man. Shit, I mean, that's more content and more wins for you, though. Yeah, you look at that. Goes right up. And look, the, the gaps the look good. Lines are good. What about the headlights? You gotta see if the headlights oh. work. Let's try, let's try the headlights. I can't take. <laughs> Tried to die because the battery's dead. All right, we got headlights. They work. I see a parking light. That lights that out. out. Yep. Go around to the back. Side marker light works. Side marker light works. Tail light. Tail light. No way. What about turn signals? Go ahead. That's good. That's good. <laughs> You're straight. Hey, should we should we go for the go for the gold with the air conditioning? I want to see. Air conditioning. I, I got to see if the AC works. Air conditioning. I didn't hear a compressor. I didn't hear a kick on it. I didn't either. But you know what? What year is this? 86. Ooh. I've got R12 at the house. Oh, then you're good. Yeah, I've got R12 at the house. I'm pretty sure the AC is not working. It's even got rear defrost. So this thing was like the fully loaded food stamp car in 90 yeah if i think a, a cigarette lighter dude wow and an ashtray hold on there's an ashtray right here and look what's in the ashtray what a Keith? joint some <laughs> 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 some halls halls in the ashtray let's see if it goes in to get the brakes feel solid brakes are good that steering is tight that's good though like that's a fresh suspension right into gear oh yeah yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. i don't know you got to win on this one Forty-five thousand miles or one hundred forty-five thousand miles i don't know i don't either, know either way still good there's an oil change sticker and let me tell you something it hasn't reached this miles yet the miles yet it was due at forty-nine thousand nine hundred miles it's got 45,900. So it just had an oil change. So it just had an oil change in 2017. This car has been sitting for four years. Four years. Well. Wow. So how, how lucky are you feeling? I oh, I'm feeling real lucky. <laughs> I'm feeling real lucky. If that AC had popped on cold though, man, that'd have been great because it is sticky, hot, humid, and nasty out here today. Uh, but I guess we're my AC on high roll my yeah. Down. <laughs> yeah, I'll just ride next to you. <laughs> I don't know guys you think it's gonna make we're gonna take it to the city house right now That's where we're heading right now. I'm not ready to take it all the way to the buyer's property That's a long way from here, but we'll take it to the city house Let's see if it makes it and if it does I mean I may load some parts up in it roll up. and Take it on down to the buyer's house and put it on the lift Get underneath it and see what it looks like on the underside. Hey, can you turn that AC on for me? Yeah, I got it on max. Right okay. Now. Woo! Right All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try not to hit TK's car there. That Mick Mandingo car. All right. Here we go. Roll out. Hold on. Let me, let me adjust my mirror. There we go. And we're good now. What do you think? Make it or break it. It doesn't matter. We're going for it, man. Let's go for the gold. Even the side mirrors work, man. This is crazy. This little car is crazy. Here we go. Twenty-five. Whoa. Thirty. 35, 40, 
I'm not flooring it, guys. I'm being real ginger with her. I am. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to push this old girl. We don't. We don't know for sure how long she's been sitting. So I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to take her out and push it too hard. The brakes feel good. The steering feels great. Uh, throttle response is right on par with what it should be for an 86 2.0 liter four banger. We're getting it. We're getting it. Now this is a rough road here, so I wouldn't be surprised if the car starts rattling and stuff going over these bumps. No. Are you kidding me? It's perfectly quiet. Oh no, man. Like even the Tiburon when I brought it over here was clunking and clanking over these bumps. And that was an 08. Unreal. Unreal. Ooh, big bump. And it glided right over it. Where are we going now? Like, uh... 40? Yeah, 40? We're going 40. Sorry, I'm not used to these old gauges. <laughs> Take me a minute to get used to these gauges. I think it'll make it to buyers, guys. I do. I think it'll make it to buyers just fine. Oh, the speed limit's 45. Let's speed up some. Let, let's get her up to speed here. All right. There's 45. There's 50. Can we can we make 55? Can we make 50? No, she ain't gonna do 55. Oh, up, oh, kicked it down a gear. There we go. There we go. We're at 55. Woo! Oh, 60. <laughs> oh man, this car is a trip. This car is a trip. All right, guys, you know the routine. I'm going to continue on my wayward son. And uh, let's see what happens here in a few minutes. Well, as you can see, we're still cruising. And she's doing just fine. You got to remember the self canceling turn signals aren't working. Windshield wipers work. The white washer works. Light signals work. I have been trying to win this car for about a month now. It kept coming up for auction, dealer only, and right when auction day would come, the car would get pulled, completely disappear from the auction, and then it would be gone for a week, and then it would come back, and I'd bid on it again, and we just went round and round with it until eventually I finally got her. <laughs> I love this car, man. Uh, I I don't know. I don't I don't understand why I get so excited about these cars. I don't. I don't understand why I'm so obsessed and and in love with 80s and 90s cars. Uh, it's just it's it takes me back to my childhood. I guess not that that's necessarily a good thing, but it just takes me back, man. I. I guess it makes me feel a little bit younger. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. You guys comment below. You tell me what you think it is. I think it just takes me back to a time when I was younger, carefree, and uh, man, don't we all miss those days? Come on now, we all thought we all thought being an adult was gonna be fun, right? We thought being an adult meant we made our own rules. Meant we didn't have to listen to anybody. Well, at least that's what I was thinking back in the era of, of this particular vehicle. Uh, little did I know that being an adult meant a whole lot of more rules and uh, a whole lot of taxes. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. I'm gonna try to carry this thing the rest of the way to the house. The brakes were a little rough to start with. I'll be honest with you, the brakes are great now. Probably just had a lot of rust built up on the rotors and the drums. Um, She's getting down the road just fine now. Getting down the road just fine. Spitting and sputting a little bit on occasion. Uh, probably old gas. But the brakes are solid now. The steering's good. The shifts are crisp. This this is a great car. If we can get the air conditioning working in this video, uh, you're talking about a gold mine, man. At least for me. Maybe not to anybody else. But for me, a gold mine of a car right here. Love, love, love this 86 Cavalier CS. All right, I pulled over on the side of the road here. 
because it feels like I might have a flat or a tire really, really low. No, tire's fine, tire's fine. That front tire right there, yeah. I was right. Uh, we're gonna have to put some air in that one. Boy, that one's, oh. that one's rough. And it's cracking. Yeah, you know what? The alignment, I guarantee you, on this wheel is off. I hear it hits the motor. I hope that's the motor, not the tire. Put some air in it. Yeah, we definitely gotta put some air in it or uh, we're not gonna make it much further. So we got some air in the tire there. She's looking a lot better, but I don't like this tread right here, man. The tread looks pretty rough. It's edge, right? Yeah, it's uh, starting to separate. She's looking kind of rough there. I think she's gonna make it the rest of the way. We only got a few more miles to go. As long as we don't get run over here. Hey, the hazard lights work too. Yep. All right, let's get back on the road. Well, it made it. Aside from having to pull off once and air up the front tire a little bit, um, I think it'll make it to the buyer's house. I can't guarantee the tires will make it, but I guarantee you the car itself would have no issue making it down there at all. I'm gonna consider taking it down there. Uh, not exactly right this moment though. It's what is it, about 180, 190 degrees out here right now. Welcome back to the hottest balls. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> uh it's I'm, hot. yeah, <laughs> it's pretty nasty out here. But the car made it, man. It it really oh, didn't. Why? It didn't have any problems. Nah, that car was moving, None. Man. I got it up to 75 one time and just 75 mile an hour zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. 75 mile an hour zone, absolutely. Yeah. I guarantee if a cop had had radared me, he wouldn't even pull he me over. He wouldn't believe that you were going that fast. No. No. No, I'd be like, no, nah, Mike, he'd been tapping his gun going, nah, something's wrong with this. Yeah. We gotta get this thing calibrated. These things didn't do 75 miles an hour back in the day. I can't believe it. Headliner definitely needs paint. Uh paint and a headliner and a set of tires man you got yourself one hell of it and I, how many people were staring at me and i can't tell for seen it in forever dude right it, you, what's the last time you've seen an 86 cavalier no. like 96 maybe maybe yeah. <laughs> these things weren't exactly known to last a long time no. you know so maybe 1996 was the last time you've probably seen these things roaming the streets and here we are in 2021 and this thing is still going. Listen to it's. Listen to this, guys. The car is what? Thirty-five years old? Thirty-six years old? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen to the exhaust back here. Purring like a kitten, man. No rust. I yeah. The exhaust pipe is still nice and you know it's clean. It still has the center caps, the beauty rings on the on the wheels. Stuff that you just don't find anymore. Yeah, this would I say this with all of them. Oh my god, I've gotta keep this one. You know, you probably could sell the center caps with the pay for the car. Woo! Ooh, boy, that's warm. Ow. Ah. Woo! Hey, the cooling fan is on. Woo. Wow. Cooling fan works. So we know she's not gonna overheat. Uh, dummy light. Oh. Yeah, you don't get gauges in these. Wow. No gauges. You got dummy lights. You got to wait for it. I can tell though. She's not hot. She's not hot. You look at these headers, man. Look at those wild headers on that exhaust right there. <laughs> yeah. This is not the Iron Duke. This is, as you can see here, it's just a little 2.0 liter. It's not a timing belt. It's an overhead valve engine. Throttle body fuel injected. She doesn't have a whole lot of power, but it's geared right to feel like it does. It, it's got the right gearing. It, it'll, you know, it moves. It moves a little bit. It just <laughs> doesn't move a lot, but it moves a little bit. Guys, I'm gonna cut this video here, but we're not leaving. I'm probably gonna see once the sun goes down a little bit because uh, I'm, I'm baking. Uh, I feel like I just got out of the shower, except I didn't. What? Yeah. So. Uh, I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit, shut this thing off, and I think we may try to take this down to the shop in Byers and maybe throw some air conditioning in it, get it on the lift, and uh, see what's going on underneath it. All right, guys, so here's what we did. We gave it, what do you think it's been? A couple hours? Easily. Easily, a couple, yeah. a couple, three hours. We wanted to make sure, I don't know if you can see now, but the sun's not standing right over us anymore. In fact, it's kind of way out yonder. Um, I gotta run an errand real quick. <laughs> we gotta go to Ada. 
and pick up some wheels for the Dodge Ram pickup truck that I've got. Some fact, we found the factory wheels yep. for $140 oh, for the set. Deal. For the set. Now I just spent $1,200 on rims and tires for it from Tire Rack. So it's cool though, I canceled the order. What? So I got my $1,200 back and instead I get to pay $140 for the wheels that are factory that's gonna make it look right. Right. And the tires will probably cost me about four hundred and fifty dollars. That's not bad. I saved a ton of money on right. that. Uh, I don't know if this car is going to start. It probably is going to need a jump, like it did earlier. The key's already in it. Nobody stole it. <laughs> I'll be damned. Damn. Are you serious? Hey, I am. You look good, dude. I'm telling you, with this interior, I mean, I, I, I'm not even. I'm not even messing with you guys. Like, I'm not even adjusting the colors or anything. Like, this is the car. Yeah. D d now, whoever decided to paint it, we found out this is a purple. It looks brown. And I mean, even- I ate too many prunes and took a shit from Yes. Them. I'm standing right in front of this car and it looks brown to me and I'm sure it looks like dookie brown to you. <laughs> but honest to God, it's a purple. It's a metallic purple. It's the doo-doo brown Cavalier. I'm not repainting it purple. <laughs> I'm not. I told yeah. TK, obviously I need tires. That's yep. That's got to be done in a quick hurry. Uh, repaint, definitely going to happen, but I'm not going back with purple, guys. I feel like, I really feel like there's not many options because of how bright red this interior is. Mm. It really, to me, it almost leaves it to red. Yeah. It's got to be pull me over red. That would match, you know, bright red Cavalier. Clean up those wheels a little bit. Put some new, fresh 13-inch white walls on them, maybe. Or you had an idea. Put, you, some, put some 32s on this. It it could be done. I I there's this there's this guy on YouTube, by the way, a fellow Oklahoma. I got to shout him out. He's actually a really good dude. I haven't got to meet him yet. CJ so cool. He's out in uh, somewhere around Shawnee, I think. Okay. His name's Puddin's Fab Shop. Oh. Dude is totally underrated. He's got 50,000 subs, I think, and those are his own. Wow. He earned those on his own. He does his own editing, all of that stuff. He does all yeah. of his own work, and he has a full-time job. I mean, he does all of it, and his edits are good. Dude, welcome to Puddin's Fat Shop. If you will put crap in your driveway, you put money in our pocket. He's got the country accent. He's got. Look, now I'm gonna put a link. That's funny. I'm gonna put a link below. Okay, you guys gotta check out Puddin's Fab Shop. I, I gotta see what this. I'm is telling. And TK's link will be below. All right, so I'm not gonna leave you out, TK. We'll put you right with Puddin's Fab Shop. I'm telling you, dude is like the most Oklahoma guy. He's got tattoos on his ass. I don't know this from like personal oh. experience. It's oh, not like, like that. Whoa. No, it's not like that. But was, he, he, was he twerking he, on camera one No, time? it wasn't like that either. He was doing a video the other day, and he said, uh, what did he say? He said, uh, he said if, you like, if you don't like the way I'm doing something, you can choose the dragonfly or the, uh, what's the Oklahoma bird? The uh, scissor tail flycatcher or something? Yeah. I didn't understand what he was talking about. I was like, huh? It's like, it don't make any sense. No, 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 it makes perfect sense. He explained it because on his, on his back end, he's got tattoos. He said he is so dedicated to Oklahoma and he is so certain this is where he belongs. He tattooed the state bird <laughs> on one of his cheeks and no. on the other one, he tattooed, what, what did I say? It was a scissor tail fly catcher and a, a dragonfly. A dragonfly, I think, I think. He said, he clenches his butt he said does, you does the dragonfly do now, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know him like that. <laughs> I don't know him like that. But I'm telling you, the dude will have you rolling. He like he's made for entertainment, dude. Bro, like, I gotta, I gotta watch. Oh, uh, uh, he makes these old. He does these old cars, Datsuns, and you know he brings these yeah. old things back to life, just like a lot of us do. I found him accidentally. Been subscribed. I've been watching every video. Yeah, like no BS. Yeah. I've got to go meet him sometime. He's right here. I mean, he's like he's like 30 minutes that way. And, and you're at, you're at, you're you're there. I, I, we got to do this. But anyway, guys, go check him out. I'm rambling on now. But yeah, he brought up putting 32s on this. Putin's Fab Shop did the same thing with. He calls it his uh, Rollo. Uh, it's a Toyota Corolla, but he calls it like a toy Rolla uh, toy or a tow Rolla. A tow Rolla. He jacked it up with some blocks. Right. He put some like all terrains or mud tires on it. Yeah. And he put a big rack on the roof to halt. Dude, he puts like transmission, he loads up tools, and, and he uses that car like a truck. He will pull things been sitting for 30 years out of the grave, like sunk into the ground. He hooks it up to the tow roller and just yanks that sucker out, man. He treats that thing like a 4x4. Four four. 
Damn. Yeah, it's he. Uh, anyway, anyway, I'm rambling. Dude's got a killer channel, man. Like killer channel. That's not rambling, bro. That's like a good five minutes of watch time right there. Yeah, you know, I need to charge him for that. So putting if you, <laughs> hey, hey man, if you see this video and you get a few more subscribers, yeah, uh, I'm gonna need to holler at you for some money. Um, I think what we're gonna do though, you think Smash we just it. rip this out? Let's just rip this out. Um, this headliner is done. At least the material. Oh, oh, it's gonna leave that crap. You know that? Oh no, not that. Yeah, that. that oh. Yep. Oh wow. That's that shit to be coming out of Grandpa's drawers, man. Oh man, that's bad. Dust. Ugh. Don't get mad at me, guys. It's gotta be. It's gotta be done. There we go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. This year, oh wow, oh, yeah, it's feel, in bro. my freaking eyes. eyes. Yeah, yeah, You're it's right? in my eyes. You got some water? <sighs> I got some whiskey in the trunk. That's, <laughs> <right. laughs> yeah. That's some bad stuff, dude. Oh, and it, it scratches. Yeah, dude. It's it like scratches spot your spot eyes. Spot, Maybe we shouldn't pull this out. Oh, God. You think Damn. we should have waited? <laughs> we we might have. Been... Shit. Oh well. Hey. Okay, it's done now, man. It's 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 a wrap. Roll the back windows down, and hopefully it just blows out well, the back. Well, well, you know. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that. Ooh. Wow. And yeah, the sun visors are all right, though. Yeah. Oh, that's nasty, dude. Oh. That is nasty. Oh, there's toothpicks. There's broken glass on the floor. There's a toothpick right here, so I'm going somebody's ass, and ain't mine because I'm not sitting in the passenger seat. Get as much of that out of there as we can. Yeah, that's rough. Don't fall for the old toothpick. That, <laughs> that's rough. Yeah. All right, I think uh, dust off this seat here. Look at that. That is nasty. This is nasty, bro. Yeah. All right, hey, we're good. We'll see how this works out. Yeah. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Go, We're not just driving this to the other shop. We're, oh my, oh, dude, yes. Yes, tie that up there. <laughs> you think it'll stay? Yeah, it'll stay. Yeah, okay. Hey, <laughs> we're doing this, man. <laughs> we're doing this. We yeah. got to drive to Ada, which has got to be 70 plus miles. Yeah. And then Ada, back to the buyer's house, is probably another 30, 10, really? 15 miles. Oh, is that close? It's going to be about 100 miles. We're getting ready to put on this car that's got uh, front tires that are just bad. Back tires are actually not too bad. but And we don't know anything about this car. Yep. Other than we drove it from the auction here. Time to put in work, girl. Let's go. All right, guys. I better turn this music off. Yeah. Just in case. Look, we got that flag flying over there, man. Look at this guy about to run into us. You see him cross over the lane there? Look, we got the flag flying right there. <laughs> and uh, I guess we should mash it. Right? Uh oh. That's full sin. That's floored, man. Getting on the highway. That's full. That's floored. Oh, that feels a little sketchy. A little body roll there. Yeah. the interstate right there wow man 65 and can we get it to 70 dude i got the pedal like three quarters of the way down damn there's 70. yo she's like she feels like there. a challenger when it's <laughs> like, oh no that's not 70 this is 70. there we go and now we're at almost 75. oh wow you feel that Set, yeah it's cutting out Okay. All right. We're, we'll let it slow down a little bit then. Full tank of gas. We managed to put like four gallons in it of 91 non-ethanol. The mileage is at 45,974. Let's see where it's at when we're done running errands today. Well, guys, I just looked down and realized we just crossed over 46,000 miles in this car. That's a proud moment, taking a car that's been sitting for like six years, jumping in it without doing anything at all. 
and just hitting the road. Um, I had no idea. I looked down, I was like, oh my God, I'm missing it. Well, at least we got it on video, guys. She hit 46,000 miles on this trip. We've already been on the highway doing 75 mile. Whoa, oh. damn. She bottomed out. Whoa, those are oh, some big shit. bumps, man. <laughs> <laughs> 70, 70, 75 miles an hour down here. Now we're on the back roads. And we're about halfway to AR headquarters. I think she's going to make it, guys. I do. Comment right now if you think she's going to make it. And hit the like button. If you think it's going to make it all the way there, hit the thumbs up button. If you don't, hit the thumbs down button. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because we, yeah. we're about to find out right now. Yeah. Well, guys. It is officially dark. We are in the middle of... The, I'm telling you, because I take this way a lot. There is nothing out here. There's not going to be anything out here. In fact, there hasn't been... Ha When's the last time you saw a gas station or a store? Fuck, I didn't Deer. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a problem out here, I'm here to tell you, you... And there's no phone service. Yeah, you're screwed. You're, you're in a bad spot out here, guys. Um, so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to bring the, <laughs> you know, bring the car that we don't know anything about through the backwoods. As you can see, we're at uh, 4619, and we're about to go over a really cool bridge here in a minute. Right in front of me is this little bitty uh, spot called Bikini Bottoms. I think that's what it's called, and it's like this. Uh, uh, it's a river with a lot of sand that you get to go ride four wheelers on and everything you can bring your jeeps they even have the the what do they call monster trucks out here oh yeah yeah on the weekends you'll see all the monster trucks out here playing in the water wow yeah and I, from what i understand they got a little bar out there and everything Shit. yeah it's supposed to be a nice little spot i haven't had an opportunity to check it out but uh dangerous, dangerous intersection, intersection? Oh, hey no. at least they put up a sign man I'll tell you what, you got more to worry about from the wildlife out here than uh, than you do people. As long as you keep it pretty pretty good on your side of the road, you shouldn't have too much to worry about. Alright guys, we're getting close. Continue on my way. That says TSK Ranch, but I'm pretty sure, like right down this road here, where that sign is, should say like Bikini Bottoms, and that's where uh, they've got a gate, so if it's open, you should be able to go in there. You gotta pay to get in though. It's not free. You gotta pay like 10 bucks for a car full or something to get in there. But uh, there it is, me here. Let's floor it real quick. Oh! Wow! Oh man, the speed, the power. That's some torque right there, man. I'll take a look at this ground and make y'all dizzy. Look at that. I'll bring you back in before I hit something. There, I'm telling you. There is so much wildlife out here, guys. And you know what I love about the iPhone? I can record, and it's for us, I, I can't explain it, but for us in the car, it's dark out. Like, it's dark. But these cameras can see good at night. Right, but the, the camera makes it look like the sky is light blue. Mm -hmm. The headlights are shining bright white. Let me tell you something, these headlights are yellow, man. There's no white to them at all. The yellow headlights, the sky is almost black, and uh, it's dark. But on video, it looks like it's light as day out here. I guess that's good for the viewers, but uh, reality is I can't hardly see anything out here. <laughs> you almost need to drive with your phone. You know, yeah. just hold your phone up hold to the window. Hold your phone up and look through the phone. <laughs> you can actually see what's going on, man. Because I'm telling you, like driving through here, I don't, I can't hardly see anything. Oh wow! Uh, this is the spot right here, guys. This bridge is amazing. I'm gonna try to hold you guys out the window and hope my my phone doesn't fall. All right, here we go. In fact, I'll just stop here for you guys for a minute so you can really... This thing is crazy. Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful out here. This bridge used to be a train trestle that used to come right through the town of Byers back when Byers was a hopping town. It's a hopping community. And uh, obviously, train don't run through here anymore. Uh, Byers has long died out. And they turned it into a road for people to, uh, you know, get between the towns a little bit quicker. It's beautiful scenery coming through here, though. All right. 
Let's see if we can make it the rest of the way without running into something. <laughs> you, you, you may have almost been dead, dude. Do my chest is like a mama. I can't. Yo, and he was just running like he was. He was coming into the car, man. What the fuck, man? I just got through telling TK. Oh, I just got through telling man the animals, the wildlife out here are dangerous. I told him they will pop out of these woods. This is a narrow road. Oh, oh the car trying, car was surging a little bit. It was that she scared of that fucking deer. Man. Sorry, dang, I just cussed on my own channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was I'm gonna tell you right now, that scared me. I swerved when I saw it. And it was, there was no warning. Yo, my whole chest, no. everything I, I thought I was about to get shot, bro. I had the same feeling, like a motherfucker was pointing the AK at you. I was like, oh, damn! That's literally what he said. He said, he said, oh, dear! And I, and I was like, what? And I looked, as soon as I turned my head over there, a Big deer ass. was had his head, like, right, right at the window, man. And the windows are down. Oh. So you could see him running through the way, and he almost ran right into the car. Right there, his head was right Man, there. That was crazy. <laughs> he said, deer, deer. Yeah. <laughs> I looked over, and literally, a deer was about to come through the window. I said that shit like, gun, <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never heard anybody scream deer before. Oh, Normally, shit. it's like, you know, to take your pick of provocative words, but. Yep. Nope, for him it was deer! <laughs> hey, man, um, those things Ooh. will tear you up, dude. <laughs> they're, they're not as pretty and friendly as they look, especially if they get into the car. Oh, no, they're going to fuck. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll break your neck, man. Yeah. Like, if they get in the car or a leg gets in here or something, you can hang it up. You're yep. done. Yep. Uh, and it figures... Hey, how long was it since I stopped recording? Two minutes? Yeah, like that's when everything start. Every time we shut the camera off, shit happens. You know, it's one of those things. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't have pictures or videos, then it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Yeah. I'm telling you on my word, it happened. We didn't just make it up, but you know, take it or leave it. It it, it, it happened. It happened. A deer almost made its way right into his lap, man. Yep. And he really screamed. Of all the words that I've heard him say. Yeah, there's a lot it, of other words I could have used. He said, deer! <laughs> I immediately just jerked my head over and I see a deer coming into the window. I was like, oh no, I swerved to the left. <laughs> and that sucker was running right next to us, man. Okay. Man, we're, we're going like 35. Yeah. That, that, that thing was moving, man. Yeah. Yeah, we found out the speed the speedometer's off on this. It's five miles an hour under. So it says we're going like 30. We're actually going 35. It says we're going 40. We're going 45. Um, I think we're in the clear now. We should be getting into town right now. So that should be... I smell a skunk, though. Yep. Oh, don't yeah. spray us with that. <laughs> hey, I wanted to make sure I recorded the rest of the journey. Because I'll be damned if we're going to hit something... Like that almost just happened. Yeah. We got to get that on camera. Yeah, you got to get that on camera. So guys, uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll just call it filler content because something yeah. could have happened. It almost did happen. We just didn't have it on camera. Whew. Well, look, we got Santa's workshop. You can't really see him out here, but but we do. <laughs> we got we got Michael from Santa's workshop. We got Austin Carr. I have links to both these gentlemen. I'll have links in the order of appearance as well. I got so many links to put in this video. So guys, go go check out Michael. What 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 are you doing right now? What are you even doing here, man? What am I doing? Well, I'm working on your car in here. No, you, you can't be working on my car because I did it all for you, man. It's done and ready to go. I even cut the so roof you're off. You're the one that cracked the windshield. You cracked the windshield. Oh no. It was, I've got something to show there's, you. On there's it, some explaining, and he's got a good uh -oh. point. He's got good points. Got good points. Is the roof good? Is it? You, is oh, it? the roof oh, is yeah. great. Oh, okay. Like, okay. No okay. <laughs> Say, please don't tell me I got to buy another El Camino, man. No. I'm about <laughs> done buying El Caminos for a while. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go inside and check it. I don't want to give away too much because I don't want to take away from your videos. But we'll we'll go we'll go check this out and we'll reconvene here in a minute. All right. I just gotta say. Uh, 68 degrees. Tell me, dude, is it? It's like, dude, I'm about to take a nut. <laughs> it's like winter time in here, man. This is, awesome. this is enjoyable. Wow, I got to come over here and see what it says on the other side of the shop. So over here it says it's 73. It is not 73 in here. It is cold. All right, so I took a minute here and uh, 
put another carburetor on this thing and realize that whoever had this before had the vacuum advance hooked up to the wrong side of the carburetor. Definitely could have caused some running issues. Choke is closed. This is a better carburetor than what was uh, on it a minute ago. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention it's missing a roof now. <laughs> That's on his <laughs> channel. That's on, hey, we are, we are considering not junking them. My first instinct was to junk it. But we are actually considering kind of tidying everything up, putting a core support alone on it, putting the radiator back in, and yeah, convertible, convertible. Throw some seats in it. We might even be able to take it. He's got a he's got the ability to pull a frame at his shop. We might just be able to get it down there and get the frame pulled enough to get it out of the wheel. Yep. And you know, throw a seat in it. He should probably have seat belts. We'll talk about that later. Actually, you don't have to. It's a truck. It's a truck. We could lap belt it. Right? In Oklahoma, you don't have to wear seat belts in a truck. Oh, well, we got the ones out of the other El Camino as well. Oh, do we? Yeah. Do we still have a place to bolt those? We can find a spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They bolt right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to... I got that seat out of the 53. Just lay in there. Yeah. Yeah. I could just drill a hole and put a nut and a bolt through it, and at least the seat will have some stability. Yeah, I've got a lot of weight savings here. Where, where's the uh, adventure oh, yeah. in that? Yeah, true. <laughs> that used to be a system. I guess we're going to see uh, if she'll start up, and that we're starting it on a battery from 2012, right? Yeah, this That's battery is from uh, January. January of 2012. That's the battery that came in the brown uh, it's not an El Camino, the GMC. I know we're off track because this video is supposed to be about the Cavalier. Caballero. And, oh, Caballero. 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 You got it. Caballero. Is that why the damn gas cap is on the wrong side of the fucking car? Probably. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what she does. What? You may have to watch that battery. Oh, dude, it runs great. Oh, I don't have a return spring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw the fuel spray. Oops. Let's try this again, this time with the bungee cord. Bungee cord is wrapped from here. Up, over, over, under, and over to the car break. TK just took like 10 steps back. <laughs> I may need to turn the aisle down on this too. I don't remember how high I had it up. Man, Almost sounds like timing's off. Like it's got a good got wow. Oh, dude. This mother. <laughs> there it is right there. Oh man, there's your money shot right there. Started right up. This battery did a great job. I told you. Hey, from being from 2012, that's pretty good. You know the problem with these old cars is you can't tell for sure if it's a cam or just severely misfiring. <laughs> I'm gonna go with nah. She's got a cam in her. Yeah. Makes me feel better anyway. I'd be tempted to hook the timing light up. Turn that idle up just a hair. Oh, dude, I hear a plug wire. You hear that arcing? Where's that coming from? I think it's somewhere up in here, maybe. I hear it over here, too. Very bad, very bad. Do you see it arcing? Hey, yeah, there's no plug wire on it. <laughs> hey, Austin. Will you grab I, that? I am not yeah. grabbing that. Austin, can you do Hold me on. do me a solid real quick, man? No! I need you to, to grab onto that lightning but oh dude, you should the video of that is awesome. Is it sparking? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude. I can see it. What's hilarious is it's tra traveling down to the plug wire. Yes. That's crazy. So it's I'm not I'm not wow. away from the plug? I'm not touching well, it. Touching no, no, no. Right. So I've been sitting here playing with this for a little bit and I was actually getting ready to record a video for you guys, a separate video, driving this thing back to the house 70 miles away, but I don't know if you can hear this ticking. She's actually ticking pretty good on the passenger side and we've even heard a, it's definitely a top end. We've heard a couple clunks and thunks. 
Uh, definitely not bottom end. It's definitely top end and it's definitely on that side of the motor. But those clunks were, they were hard enough that it just let me know that it would be a bad idea to try to take this thing on the road all the way back to the house. I think I, ooh, wow. I'm waiting for something to blow through the valve cover or the intake or a push rod come shooting out of it, something. Yo, you, yeah, 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 yeah. You better back up, <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what, since I readjusted the timing, even though it's about 15 degrees off, according to the balancer, it's not sitting here blowing all that smoke and spitting and sputting. It's actually idling really well. I think I am gonna close this hood though. I do, I do kind of have a feeling that something's, something's, something's gonna come shooting out. Damn, I really wanna take it for a, we'll take it for a ride real quick, guys, because I think we've determined man I wanted to leave that motor in it man so it can be uh you know like a little uh Put that one in that one and then send it I guess we that's yeah. a lot of work though man. Yeah. hey swap this engine into that one that one into this one yep. we'll leave the transmissions yep. the way they are because this has got a good th350 um yeah I guess send that bitch yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. And then if we blow this up, it's just content. Well, not this. Yeah. We blow this engine up in that car. That car is junk anyway, so right. it's all content. Extra weight for scrap. Yeah, that makes more sense. I'm going to put some air in this tire, guys. We'll take her for a quick spin. And let's just see what happens. All right. Here we go. We're going to take her for a spin. This may be this engine's last run. I, I don't know. Because she honestly ain't... Uh, she ain't doing too good guys i'm really disappointed about that too can we get some dash lights a little bit not really man i love this engine but i'm telling you man you get good throttle response sitting in park or neutral but then you go out and you try to drive it And it's a dog, man. It can't even get out of its own way. It's just a dog. Like, you could sit... Boy, those brakes are great, though. Brakes are excellent on this. But, like, I'm hitting the gas, and I can't even get it to... I can't even get it to burn any rubber. Or kick up gravel, for that matter. Yeah, it's just bogging, man. Oh, wow. We're all over the place because of this muddy road here. Yeah, let's take her back out on the road, guys. I forgot to put my tag on it, too. Yeah, this is this is disappointing. This is really disappointing. I don't know what's going on with this engine, but uh, something's not right. That's floored. That was floored. You can't... It, it just, it's just like, ugh. She's not happy. Ooh, she's trying to die. Yeah. There she goes. I mean, there's Floored and it doesn't do anything, man. Yeah, that's Floored. Yeah, that's no good, man. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think I'm just going to send it back. We'll park it. And uh, every time I turn around, it's something else with this damn car. This is why I wanted to send it to auction. Like, I knew. I just knew. So I was like, let's just send this thing down the road and be done with it. All right. Let's carry it back to the shop. I'll try to figure out what I want to do with it after uh, after we get down there. All right, so we're finally back to the Cavalier. It's one o'clock in the morning. This happens all the time down here. I got my manifold gauges hooked up, although I've got to admit I'm doing this kind of half-assed tonight. Um, you're supposed to have it hooked up to the low side and the high side. Unfortunately, I've only got the adapter to the low side, so we're just going to bleed it down on the low side only. Again, 
I'm well aware this is not the proper way to do it. I don't need anybody coaching me. I understand. It's just the way it is. It's one in the morning. I'm ready to go home. I have some of this stuff right here. It's not particularly cheap, but this is called Frosty Cool 12A. I got this off of eBay or something. It's R12 compatible. So you don't want to take R134 and just do a quick conversion kit on this without changing out the dryer, the compressor, all that good stuff as well. The orifice tube, if your car has one. Otherwise, you contaminate R12 and R134, and it's kind of like black death to your, your air conditioning system. At least, that's what I've heard. I've done it that way for years and years, and I've never had a problem, but all the professionals seem to say that it'll kill your AC system. So, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this down. We should see, let me actually put you guys on a different screen here. There you go. We'll go ahead and see if we can pull a vacuum. Oh, she took a vacuum quick. That was fast. Yeah, I'd like to see more of a vacuum than that. Try not to breathe this stuff in. You don't want to breathe it. Something's crawling on me, and I think it's trying to bite me. Let me see if I can get that off of me there. All right. Damn. Oh, yeah, she's taking a vacuum. She's pulling a vacuum. Now the question is, will it hold a vacuum? I'm going to let this do its thing for a little while, guys. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to step away. I'm going to let her do her thing. And uh, I'm going to work on cleaning up the shop a little bit more. I've got, uh, I got most of it picked up, but I do have to... Uh, I got to organize my tools and, and all this great stuff. <laughs> oh, what to do with that one, man. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll, I don't want to get on that right now. Let me, uh, let me work on cleaning this mess up. By that time, we should be able to put some Freon in this and see if it does anything. All right, she held a vacuum. I'm happy with that. Oh, I got some new wheels for a certain Chevy. I'm not going to tell you what they're going to. You have to stay tuned for that. They're not for this one, though. Oops. There you go. Let's go ahead and kick the air conditioning on real quick. Oh yeah. Max AC. Turn that off. High, cold. Oh, you guys can't see. There we go. All right, now, if we're lucky, at some point, we plug this in and we'll shake it up just a little bit. Thank you. I'm gonna plug this in right here. Now I'm going to bust the, uh, bust the cap on this, and with any luck, she'll start filling up and we'll hear the compressor kick on. I can't tell. Oh, she's sucking it down. Bingo. There it is. Bingo. <laughs> That's it. See the compressor is sucking it down like it's supposed to. Throw another can in here. She ought to start getting cold here in a minute. Man, I love it when a car just comes together like this. I mean, these, these are the ones that make you proud, man. You know, the ones that you save from being junk. Right. And they're thankful for it. I know cars aren't alive. I know they don't have real personalities. But let me tell you, I've met some that I hated just like people. And I've met some like this that I just love. You know, it's like this car's like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm forever in your debt. Yep. Let me do right by you. She's got enough to keep the compressor on a little bit more. And, uh... Yeah, that's nice, man. That's nice. One can down. I think this will be the last one. It may not even hold the whole can, we'll see. If anybody's got any experience with this uh, uh, Frosty Cool 12A, definitely drop a comment down below. I've used it before and it's worked great. Uh, so I'll do, uh, I'll do you a solid, I'll leave a link down below the video. There'll be a lot of links in this video, guys. <laughs> Uh, but down in in the video, down below the video, whatever, there'll be a link to this Frosty 12A stuff. So if you got an R12 system, get an R134A adapter kit from like AutoZone or your favorite parts store. Use that kit to put this R12A into it. Boy, she sucked damn near all that. Now, time to see if the air is cold. I've got an infrared thermometer, so we'll do it the right way. Yeah? <laughs> Are you lying? Are you serious? Yeah, bro, I put my hand in there. That bitch is cold. All right, so let's make sure it works. If we point it at the engine, it should be relatively warm. 
Yeah. All right, 101 degrees because the engine's not hot yet. And we'll come over here to this, one of these center vents. 55, 53, 51, 50, 51. Ooh. We're talking 50 to 51 degrees. That's a win, bro. We just started. Yeah. We just started. That's a win. <laughs> I may just leave it with two cans, man. That's probably all I need. Yeah, honestly, uh, 50 degrees. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't think it needs much more than that. Let's try it one more time. That is that. That's some nice cold that's air conditioning, nice man. Cold air, bro. I'm telling you, you, put window tint on it, oh. paint it red, new tires, window tint, and a headliner. Yep, done. And it it'll still be a beater, but it'll be a oh, beater really? with a heater and air conditioning. And if somebody that really wants this car will buy it because it's different. 47. 47, dude. 46. That's crazy. 46 degrees. That's crazy. Look at that. Can you see it on camera? Yep. Ice cold. 46 oh, I degrees. When you were shooting at it. All right, then we're good. I'm not going to be greedy because you know what happens when you get greedy? I could be like, I got another can. Let's throw a third can at Poof, the whole thing blows up, man. Yep. I'm not trying to mess with that. I will take this. Uh, I'll take this aftermarket R134 adapter off, and I'll put the uh, I'll put the cap. No, the valve's already in it. Hey, this sucker's on there, ain't it? There we go. Take, golly, man! Come on now. We're just playing hardball. What did I do with the? Uh, there it is. We'll put the original cap, which still has its rubber gasket in there too. In fact, just to help it out a little, that rubber seal's probably wearing out. Yep. So put a little bit of a, uh, this is just a uh, oil for your pneumatic tools. Cool. Let that soak up in there. Tighten her down. Done. That's it. The end. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it was kind of inevitable. It might make it. Well, <laughs> we just had to pull off because uh, this thing is vibrating and shaking like absolute crazy, the man. The tire's egging, but here it is, bro. Look, the belts are sticking out of the Oh, tire. no. Oh, no. Look, look, look. Oh, sh Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Here, put that light down here a little bit. That's, uh, wow. Like, she's gonna blow up. Oh, yeah, 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 this thing's done, dude. We might as well just go ahead and change it now. Put spare on it? Yeah. Let's check the other one first. See how yeah, let's goes. check the other one. I'll check the, the back ones, too. We only have one spare, so we... <laughs> this one looks all right. She's egging a little bit, but it's not, it's not bad. Yeah, well, I suspected the alignment was off on the passenger front anyway. But you know what it is? It, where it's pulling so hard that it might have just been pulling yeah. the wires out. Yeah. She looks all right. It might not be that tight. Oh, what a beautiful sight, man. A Chevy on the side on the of the side road. Of road. <laughs> all the Ford guys will be laughing tonight. Oh. All right, guys. I'm just gonna do the right thing. I'm not going to. We got God. We probably got over 30 miles left to go home. Yeah. Uh, that that tire is 100 percent gonna come apart. Yeah, that tire's done, and it's gonna end up damaging the car. If and it, if it blows, yeah. Yeah, and even though it's 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 kind of a beater, I, I don't want to make it more of one. So let's get the spare tire out. Let's get this changed. All right, you guys got to see this before I go any further. This jack has never been used, man. It's been sitting bolted into the car. It's still got the rubber band. Damn. Attached to the handle. Look at the sticker. It looks like it came straight out the store. Yeah. And you got the spare tire right there, man. Wow. All right. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, <laughs> we're definitely going to change it. I'm, oh, the belts came out the other side, too. Really? Yeah, they're out the other side, too. This is one that's going to try to cut you up taking this tire off. Man. All right, guys. Let's pull this bad boy off on the side of the highway. At least it's nice and cool tonight. Yeah, it's not hot. Relatively quiet because it's what, 1.30 in the morning? Uh, currently 2.30. 2.30? 2.40 in the morning. Yeah, 2.40 in the morning. 
in the morning. 2.40 uh, in the morning. And they say YouTube money's easy. <laughs> all right, we got the tire off. Figured I'd go ahead and... Oh, look at all this splattered back here. What is that? What is that? Oh. We blew the front strut. Did yeah, we? the front strut is leaking. Yeah. Oh, look at the boot and everything. Yep. Now that's probably because of the tire. Or, you know what I bet it's actually from? You remember when we bottomed out? Yep. Going down them hills? Yep. This thing's been sitting far too long with some old seals. And uh, bottoming this thing out multiple times, well, I think gonna, it... She's going to bounce no matter what. Popped. Popped it. Take a look at this, though, guys. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to try not to touch this too much because she's a... Uh, but look at this. Yeah, this thing is uh, this thing is done. I guess I understand why she was riding so rough. <laughs> hey, it's no big deal though. You know, we need some tires, a couple struts on this. You can put struts in this in half an hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and they cost nothing. No. They cost nothing, so it's not a huge deal. Let me continue on my way so we can get back on the road. Maybe I'll get home by four o'clock this morning. Hey. hey, that'd be that'd be a nice change of pace for once. <laughs> All right, so here's what we got. We got a 36 year old tire. I think it's 36. <laughs> Yeah, tires uh, expire at the age of six. You should not be driving on tires over six years old. And uh, these tires we know are over six years old because the car was sitting for six years. And that tire is the age of the car. So that's a 1986 tire. It had 20 pounds of pressure. Yep. We went ahead and put 55 in it. And, well, <laughs> Godspeed. Because <laughs> we got 30 or so miles left to go. I, I I think she'll make it. I can't fault the car though, man. Like the tires are not the car's fault. I knew damn good and well when we were heading out that these tires probably weren't gonna make this trip. Well, as long as she doesn't bounce like a fucking basketball the rest of the <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty rough. Yep. That was pretty rough. Alright, man. I think she's ready. I think she's ready. I'll tell you what though, she'll sit here and purr like a kitten all day long. Okay. AC is so cold it had the windows fogged up. <laughs> now, I didn't get it on camera, but not only did it fog up the windows, it fogged, fogged up, the up the gauges. Gauge. Even even the radio had fog over the screen like the AC in this car is insane. And I don't remember what mileage we started this whole journey with, but right now we lost a tire at 46,066. And I know for a fact we hit 46,000 when we were driving earlier. So and look, it's already fogging up the windshield. Let's go ahead and look, watch this. Watch, watch this air conditioning. Watch this. Hold on, give it a minute. Look, here it goes. That's that air conditioning right there. That's an option in 1986, guys. It didn't come with air conditioning like as a, as a standard equipment option. Mm -mm, that's it. It's done. What do we got on the radio? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get on the road. <laughs> Guys, I'm done. What time is it now? It's uh, almost 0500, man. Five okay, so we're at almost 5 o'clock in the morning. And as you can see, we're at 66,094 miles. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let you guys do the math. You can look at the beginning of the video. You can figure out what the mileage was, and you can see where we're at now, and you can add that up, because uh, I'm not doing it. Let's see if the AC still works. Hell yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> yep. Ice fucking cold, AC bro. still works, man. Wow. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm going to turn that off, because that will get ridiculously cold. Yep. Really fast. Roll these windows up. Yep. Take one last look at the car before we put her to bed for the night. Oh my back. I mean it's a small car, dude. That it is. She's a she's a little car. There she is, man, in all of her glory. I love those glass headlights. I, I love this little car. I do. I sit here right now and say I am never selling this car. <laughs> but you guys know as soon as it comes out of the paint shop and has tinted windows and brand new tires, oh. off she goes. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> to her next one. And you know what kills me? 
I mean, I'm thankful that, you know, people bid on my cars right. and, and that they all sell. Like, I'm very thankful for that, but it kills me that some of these cars go to the Rust Belt. Yeah. You know, because it's... It'll be rotted out in six months. Yeah, like that 82 F-150. Done. It went to a good home. You know, it did. Father and son are going to build it together and everything, mm -hmm. and that's something I feel good about. But it, but it's just like, I know that this thing is now in the Rust Belt. Right. It's in New York. And it's just a matter of time. That rot. truck made it all this time. 40 Die. years. Almost. 40 years it made it. Yep. And and I sent it to its death, basically. I don't know. If they don't drive it in the wintertime, it might yeah. be right. But if they drive it in the wintertime, it's over then you got things like this, man. It's the same deal. This car is made. I mean, granted, she's she's got dings and a few hail dings here, some whiskey dents here and there, but she survived, man. This car has survived, and uh, I fully intend on making her a little bit prettier. I don't think I'm going to go too far with it. What happened? Did the did the spare blow? No, but the, it's egging like a motherfucker. Uh, well, this yeah, this uh, I guarantee you, this side is out of whack. I mean, I know for a fact, feel how hot that is. Okay. Like that, that's it's unnatural. Hot. Like it's, it's normal for them to get, we have, it's not like we just got off the interstate. Woo, boy. Yeah. This is an interstate. We've been driving 40 miles an hour. Like yeah. that tire should not, I guarantee you come over here and you feel the other tire. They're not that hot. It won't be that hot, it'll be warm. Yeah, feel that, that's warm. Yeah. Warm, not hot. Yeah, that's, no, that's hot. Yeah, that's that one's hot. Yeah, this one right here is probably fucked up too. That passenger front tire or that wheel is out of alignment, man. So I have plans to take it down to Firestone first thing in the morning. Even though I hate having to go that route, but I need to get the alignment done and I need a set of 13s. Yep. So uh, I'll probably have them do an alignment, a set of tires with white walls, of course, <laughs> and uh, or should I get white letters? You know, racing mm. tire. No, I'm gonna go do white walls. I'm gonna do white walls and alignment. I'm gonna have them change the oil because that's the right thing to do. Yep. Um, and you know, I'm gonna continue driving it. Yep. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue driving the little thing and I'll send her to Mako. I'll see what they can do. I'm not, guys, I'm not gonna worry about the little dings and dents. That stuff starts getting into money. Yep. You know, when you start having to pull all that stuff out, it's an old car. It's gonna get dings and dents in the future. I may change the color to red because it'll match the interior. I want you guys to comment down below and tell me what you think. Should we paint it? The factory color is like a purple, and I just don't think that purple and red interior go together at all. I think red or maroon. If you guys remember the maroon color, we painted the Ford Tempo. Yeah. That's a nice deep red, and I think the bright red interior would probably work all right with that. Yeah. I just don't, I don't think purple and red yeah. go together, man. It just doesn't work for me. Oh. So comment below and tell me what you think, man. What, what, what do you think about it? My, my thoughts are the wheels, I mean, the, sorry, the tires, no. the alignment, the oil change. We could check other things like spark plugs and, you know, air filter later. Um, tinted windows, yep. for sure. That you got to have those in, in, in Oklahoma. Um, you just got to. And a headliner. Yep. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's, I can't think of really anything else that she needs nope. before she heads off to, uh, heads off to auction. Yep. She made it, guys. That's all there is to it. Guys, I'm going to get out of here because I'm literally standing, like, in the middle out here. And I'm like, hey, talking to you guys. And people are probably wondering. I'm going to have the cops out here soon. I, I don't fit in in this neighborhood, guys. I got to get out of here. I really hope you enjoyed this video because, man, we put so much different stuff into this video that I thought was going to be fun and entertaining. Plus, you know, blowing a tire on the side of the road. That's always fun as well. I got to give a big shout out to a few people, man. TK's Garage. Go check him out. Link below. We've got Santa's Workshop. He'll have a link below. We've got Austin Carr. He'll have a link below. And then that, uh, if I can find a link for that R12A, I'll put a link to that below as well in case you're interested in getting some of that. And I think that's, is that everybody I had for today? I think that's it. It was a hell of a day, guys. A hell of a day. We covered a lot of ground. We got a lot done. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Drop those comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if not currently subscribed. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that other stuff. Auto auction rebuilds. And hey, if you really, really enjoyed the video, you really want to do me a solid, share the video. Man, share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Just share the video. Helps me out a lot. I'm going to get out of here. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.
but I'm not looking forward to editing this video. <laughs> it's going to be a long video to edit down. <laughs>